Okay guys, thank you for clicking the video. Today I'll be showing you how I'll be doing my bubble diagram. Let's go! background for my old and new subscribers just started college and I'm taking the course architecture and uh, I'm thinking of making a uh, video collection or video compilation or a series where I'll call it um, Archie adventures where I share what I do in college so this will be an adventure and I hope everybody will like my content so to those who don't know what a bubble diagram is, so a bubble diagram is a freehand diagramic drawing where um, architects and interior designers use to um, plan what the outcome would become. So now let's get into this and if you want to know more about bubble diagrams, <laughs> just search it. <laughs> the Google's free. So I actually have a pre-made bubble diagram that I did in class so I'll be showing you guys this is the pre-made bubble diagram I did so as I do this I'll be explaining why I put the, these certain areas and where they are so let's get started firstly so it's, since it's freehand you can just be doing circles all over the area or something so like, let's start with the big circle where the kitchen, living, and dining area will be. There you go. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'll just be, I'll be overlaying it with a micron pen so later you'll be able to see it. So I'll just fast forward this as we go. Okay, so in this big uh, little circle or big circle here in the main area I've put the kitchen on the left side the living area will be open and then with the kitchen area it will be interconnected with the dining area For obvious reasons, the kitchen and dining are interconnected because, well, after you cook, where do you put the food? Of course, in the dining area. So, the living area is the big space. When you open a door, the main door, the first thing you'd want your visitors, if you want visitors, visitors to see is the living area. Because this will show them accommodation and stuff like that. So, beside the kitchen area and dining area, I've put a access door right here where passage where that are interconnected to there's a door where it leads straight to the laundry area laundry or utilities area so utilities because interconnected with this room is the carport where the car stays car parks by then I would like a open area right here where there will be a garden And the right side of the room would be where the master bedroom would be. And then connected to the master bedroom would be the closet or the walk-in closet. So I want the closet to be interconnected with the toilet and bath so that you don't have to like go outside your bath and then go to the closet just so you can dress up. So I'll be putting this here, T and B for toilet and bath. 
So right in the middle of the living room, not in the really middle, but at the right side middle, is the common toilet and bath where visitors can use it. And right beside those are two bedrooms. So I know it looks cramped, but this would look better since it's just the planning. This would look better as a floor plan. So this is bedroom number one and this is bedroom number two. So that's the plan. That's how you like plan it all. So the reason why I put the kitchen, laundry, utilities right here is because I'm thinking about the plumbing situation so that there won't be any cluster of um, water supplies, stuff like that. So these three are interconnected so that of course in the garden you have a hose so the plumbing would stay right here and since I can't just put all the toilets and the plumbing area in one area so these guys are interconnected and these guys are interconnected I don't know if I'm explaining it well because I'm very like disoriented or something so yeah this is the plan now I'm just gonna pen it and color it so that's how you do a bubble diagram for us for design purposes so I forgot to mention um, these arrows and like these dashes and circles so these are these are symbols like this wavy thingy with the arrows these are the windows these circles or dots represent that you could like walk outside so you can go to that area since a garden is an open area and these dashes means that they're interconnected or they're like um, connected by a door without a door like <laughs> it's just the hinge of the door it's an open area so that's it and this is my this is my bubble diagram hope you guys like this video so leave a comment like or subscribe so Peace out.